The enemy wishes to fight, brothers! Let us indulge them! I'm not paid enough for this shit. Hey guys, it's me, Asmagon. I'm doing commentary. I'm not doing any fancy intro here. <laughs> oh my god. This is... I, I, just when you think the Wizards of the Coast have topped themselves on bullshit, this happens. Before we get into it today, a word from our sponsor. Me. You. Yes, you. Do you like tabletop war games? How did, how did you get in my house? Answer the question! <laughs> yes! Yes! And do you like grimdark sci-fi universes with sprawling lore? Yeah? Brilliant! Then please consider supporting the development of such a game called Warglaive Gothic, a grimdark sci-fi universe with viking werewolves, vampires, driders, and grape-happy cannibalistic gnolls, all in space! Link to the Patreon page down below. Is this an ad? Yes! So yeah, consider that. Patreon link in the description. Anywho, uh, so today we're going to be talking about the fact that Wizards of the Coast are removing the half construction descriptor, whatever you want to call it, uh, in their rule book for part races. Uh, essentially speaking, there are no such things as half elves anymore, or half orcs, or half, uh, half, uh, drider, half, whatever the fuck. There's no halves anymore in the, in the game. Because racist. If you think this is my first take of this video, I hate to break it to you. It's not. So let's read this. Let's just let's just rip the band-aid off. Oh my god. Wizards of the Coast plans to remove half elves and half orcs from Run D D. Its revised version of the Dungeons and Dragons rule set, according to reports from the D D Creator Summit. Ahem. The half construction is inherently racist. So we simply aren't going to include it in the new player's handbook, said game designer Jeremy Crawford, according to the account of attendee Daniel Kwan. Crawford added that these options wouldn't be included in new D&D books. However, because one D&D will be 5e compatible, players will still be able to use the 2014 versions of the law. Yes. And get this. The fact that no explanation was provided for the opinion that half-elves and half-orcs are, quote-unquote, inherently racist, has led to some very different interpretations of the statement and a chunk of controversy on social media. Rightfully fucking so, if you ask me! Ugh. Now, I said this last time there was some major controversy from Wizards of the Coast that I covered, and I pretty much say it every time whenever we're talking about tabletop gaming. Keep in mind, t they cannot take away from you whatever form of the game you play now. The beauty of tabletop gaming is it's not like some video games out there, like MMOs out there, right? Where it's a server-based game where if they make an alteration, you're forced to be compatible with it. That's not the case with tabletop gaming. You buy a codex of 6th edition, you have that forever. They cannot take it away from you. You buy the rule books for 5e Dungeons and Dragons. They can never take that away from you. If you have the original Cyberpunk uh, 2020 book, you can't. You aren't forced by any means to play Cyberpunk Red. This is the beauty of this art form and the beauty of this gaming sphere. Once it's in our hands, we have 100% control. And even if they stopped selling the booklets and stuff, gamers would go online and provide PDFs, uh, rule sheets, data sheets, everything that would have been provided by the uh, actual services of the company that owns the IP will be taken over by fans. So, the, don't be at all affected by this. The only reason this pisses people off, of course, like myself, is because the future of these games is now in jeopardy or just downright dead. D&D will now no longer have a better edition than a previous one, like 3.5. 
it, it, we, we a fifth edition will no longer be improved upon because their idea of improvement and alteration and and, and making it better, so to speak, is this shit. This is what they consider innovation. Removing shit. Because it's not very sensitive, or it might hurt people feelings. Because Wizards of the Coast is run by fucking retarded mongoloids. Yes, YouTube, you can demonetize me now. Go fuck yourself. Now, I fucking <laughs> I hate this shit. I hate this shit so much, because it's stupid. But again, I wanted to make that point before, before continuing. We have these games, they're ours, they can't take it away from us. Anyway, so yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, what I find incredibly funny about this whole thing is that this is all being done to a game for the uh, sake of inclusivity and of diversity of all the talking points that the, you know, SJWs online constantly preach. For all of those reasons, that's why they're quote unquote doing this, right? But the ironic thing is, is D&D is probably, not probably, it is factually the most inclusive game ever created. Why? Because the only limiter on a given campaign in a given group is the imagination and culpability of the players and DM. The DM is God in any given campaign. So if you want to add a race that doesn't exist, like a Gerborfalorg, you can do it. You want to have a uh, non-binary lizard lady, you can do it. Be really fucking weird, but you could do it. <laughs> like these are games that are not limited by anything like this. Like it's not a game where you have to put in the rule book. Hey, we're taking away the. Ha if so, if a DM is running a campaign and his players, for whatever the fucking reason in the world that they're that sensitive and stupid, said like, "Hey, we're not sensitive with like the half term. Like, can we like get rid of that? Because that's like racist, dude." That poor DM. I, I don't envy him trying to run a game with those kinds of players, can go, yeah, 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 sure. Now you're just an orc or you're not. Now you're just a human or you're not. Ta-da! <laughs> like, oh, God. It's just so stupid. It's so incredibly stupid. <laughs> also, apparently they're trying to get rid of the, the term, the word race in the game as well. Like, the word race, it's not just this half thing that's going on. They're intending to replace race with the term species. Now, that's old news, I'm pretty sure. that, If I recall correctly, they made that announcement forever ago. But, um... It, it, I, I, my first question when I heard that was... How long till species becomes the taboo word? Because race isn't even a bad word. It's not a slur. It's literally just describing a race. Which... Okay... It's used in common vernacular. Like teachers will say that word. Kids will say that word. It's 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 said by everyone. And, uh, all I, I, I'm sorry, my brain. I just can't compute. I can't compute with this dumb shit. Race is a common vernacular word with no derogatory derogatory elements to the word itself. There are racist words that have a negative connotation and a derogatory connotation, but the word race in and of itself is a descriptor. It's an adjective. Like, this is a person's race. Or this is this creature's race. So for me, I'm just flabbergasted by this concept that we're now turning the word race itself into meaning racist. It's, it's just, it's bad now. This is how soft and sensitive our world is today like like these are problems that people think exist and that's more shocking and terrifying than anything else it's horrifying it's it, it's it's gag worthy it's just <laughs> that people live such soft sheltered cared lives that that this is something that they consider like shocking and offensive for people they can't possibly handle it People have been playing D&D since the 80s, and I don't think anyone's ever had a, 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 a hookup on the turn. Well, apparently some person did, because they work at Wizards of the Coast and are paid a salary. 
you know, these are the type of people, like, you know, if, if someone told me any of this shit that, the, the, like, oh, like, oh, using half elf is racist, I'd be like, oh, okay, not hiring that person for my writing staff. If I was looking around, I'd be like, fucking psycho. Call the straight jacket people. Don't worry, buddy. We're going to get you a jacket that helps you hug yourself and make sure you feel all comfortable. We'll put you in a padded room when you will never have to hear someone dare speak about half races. What the fuck? <laughs> like, oh my god. I, I, I honestly have nothing more to say. Like, we, we can go through this whole article and go through the hullabaloo about this, but at the end of the day, like, I, I, I think I've said my piece. I think I've said my piece. This is dumb shit. This is excessively dumb shit. And I, I just don't know where we're gonna go from here. Every time I think we've hit the cap of SJW sensitivity and, and, and weakness, it escalates. It goes another step. It goes another. It goes to another level that I didn't even know existed. Every time I think we've hit the ceiling, it apparently is just the ceiling of that particular floor, and there's a trap door leading to another fucking spiral staircase of a fence. Fuck off with your sensitivity. Kiss my ass. <laughs>